Mesha is 37 Trivam. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Mesha's 37 Trivamp on Advanced Server. Actually, I just made that up because I've lost track of how many times the developers changed her skills from being a full tank to zero defense items. She's been through it all. Anyway, let's begin with her passive skill. Just like before, she has 3 HP bars. If she loses her first HP bar, she will gain 25% crowd control duration reduction and her skills will only require 50% HP to cast. So that means her skills won't consume too much HP when she's on her second HP bar. When she loses 2 HP bars, she gains crowd control immunity and using skills won't cost her HP. As you can see, she's not losing any HP when at her last HP bar. I think this is the best part of this revamp. I can't recall how many times I've died because I've used my skill on the last HP bar. And that's pretty much it for her passive skill. They've removed the defense item limitation which prevents Mesha from building tank items. With this new version, you now have the option to add defense items to her build. Now let's move on to her first skill and it has two effects. First one is the passive feature where her basic attacks will deal extra damage based on the enemy's maximum HP. So even if you're not using the skill, you can still deal HP based damage. That's 2% at max level and you can increase it by adding attack stats. Next effect is the active part. Using the skill will consume HP and give her increased movement speed. It also enhances the next two basic attacks by increasing its extra damage and attack speed. That's 4% HP based damage at max level. Remember, this skill only enhances the next two basic attacks. After the first two hits, her attack speed will return to normal. Now let's move on to her second skill. She uses HP to deal damage in a direction. Enemies that are hit will have their attack speed reduced by 50% for 2 seconds. So there's no more slow effect on the skill. Next is her ultimate. Masha strikes a target, knocking back nearby enemies and slowing them for 2 seconds. And the cooldown of the skill will reset each time she loses an HP bar. As you can see, she can cast her ultimate again. The developers removed the feature where the skill can deal damage based on the enemy's current HP. As you can see, my damage is the same on two enemies with different amounts of HP. We also removed the disarm effect which was a good counter against basic attack heroes. To compensate damage, they've increased its attack scaling to 180%. That means she can deal worse damage against squishy heroes with her ultimate. Last one is her special skill. It's now divided into two parts and just like before, you can use it to recover her HP bar. It will only regenerate when dealing damage to enemies. And you gain more when dealing damage with her first skill. It no longer accumulates over time unlike the old version. As you can see, it's not moving. And when you recall to your base, the HP bar will become full, but the energy will not increase. And that's it for Masha's 69 tree vamp. I like this one better because of its flexibility. You can go full damage, full tank, and mixed. Full tank because of her HP base damage on her first skill. Full damage for that multiple ultimate burst, and mixed build for balance. You can adjust your build depending on the enemy's lineup, which gives her versatility. I really like the part where she won't consume HP when using skills at her last HP bar. Maybe that's all she needs in the current version, right? I also tested her first skill on the Lord, and it seemed broken. The damage is too high, which will probably be fixed on the next update. Maybe put a limit or something. So far, I like going semi-tank build to strike the balance between damage and defense. So what can you say about the revamped Masha? Is it a better version or not? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. I'm made for fighting! Your cowardice will unnerve my fury.